This is uh, the beginning of what could be a fantastic endeavor. It's, got, it's given them a chance to do something that you just can't get in a regular class. I remember coming in the first day of class and pitching my idea about the world of Oz and a monkey trainer and, and aspirations to be a castle guard. When I saw, you know, Jeff's uh, proposition or, or whatever for, for Widget, I, I just leaned over and checked out his paper and said, you know, uh, Oz, a monkey, flying monkey trainer, uh, aspires to be a castle guard and works on that. And I just, I felt bad for Jeff because I thought people were going to laugh at him and throw stuff at him and there'd be no way in hell that they would uh, select that one simply because it would be logistically stupid. There's never really been a class where students just go out and make a production of a film. Uh, and I know a lot of people, they want to do that. I'd love to get into something that has to do with film or TV. Uh, my goal is to actually win the Sundance Film Festival. Real goal is to do action sports films. Hopefully something will come along and through various avenues I will end up working on films. We got one, right? Yeah, one we had is like a whole big one. Okay. Yeah. Two is shower, yeah, we crossed that one off. All right. uh, scene 16, shot four, take one. And action. Hello. Bob Albers and I got together in a conspiratorial manner. <laughs> uh, didn't tell anyone what we were going to do, and we just did it. It seemed to me to be a perfect marriage, and when I talked to Jeff about it, he and I agreed. We did about seven or eight weeks of introduction and pre-production and script writing and breaking down. And we said, go out and shoot a film. Um, we'd like to start off today by going around and getting reports from every group. It's cool to have three directors. It can, it can, that's one thing that can make it take longer because they're like, well, what if we do this? Because they all have ideas and they all want to um, contribute and stuff. But they, they definitely worked yeah. great together. Or if one of them couldn't be there, the other two would fill in. And there was definitely just a uh, trifecta of directors. So if you look at Jared here, you notice that uh, I've stitched a baklava hoodie for him. Uh, this is actually the third one that we've done. Uh, we have two prototypes and uh, we tried a number of different things. We had a mask maker actually try to make us a material that matched the color and it didn't work out so well. The first tries looked like he had a bunch of rubber cement attached to the top of his head and that wasn't uh, really great. Because that's what you got! Uh, the drama. I, I mean, I don't want to make the mistake of uh, having people go away with the thought that it was always happy-go-lucky because it wasn't that. Uh, and it wasn't that because people cared. Josh and Connie practically killed themselves trying to make this production work. She'd had the script quicker. She had casting quicker. Um, we really just wasted a lot of time in the beginning and that really made it hard for us, especially my department because we were only given like a week in advance before shooting to just get everything done. All right, so Professor Ray asked me uh, today to address the changes with the script once and for all and just bring everybody up to date and what, it, um, what has happened and publicly acknowledge so everybody's on the, the same slate. When I had originally thought of uh, what Jeff's idea was going to be, I was thinking more uh, dramatically and it came out kind of as a dark comedy. I just kept receiving the new copies in my email and found out later that there was maybe more drama involved than I had realized. Yeah, I could say there was a, there was a couple heated um, battles between um, all producers, directors, and um, writers. As you may or may not know, the last five pages of the script have been completely changed. We have played with an idea of eliminating the brain surgery and going with a different ending. Uh, however, when we looked over the new ending, although I did prefer it, um, it would have been more shooting. I think that's where it sort of uh, fell apart a little bit, in that things were happening and, and the script was developing and then there were differences of opinion about the script and they didn't get really communicated clearly between the, the, cre the so-called creative uh, filmmakers and the people who were doing the writing. You know, we kept it secret from 
people or we just didn't notify them of it and that was wrong. That was a mistake. That's where I think we ran into some problems. So we probably need to do a better job of uh, kind of riding herd on that process. I just wanted to say that, you know, <coughs> it absolutely was not personal. That's the most important thing. Whether or not I'll write again uh, is yet to be seen, foreseen after this experience, which you know, according to Jeff Ray, is very realistic to, to how it's actually going to be when writing. We'll see. Um, it's just tough. It's really tough sort of checking your ego. Because um, for a while there, you know, someone says, no offense, but, and you know, those two words do very little to uh, distract from, okay, I'm taking offense to this. I shouldn't, but I am. Roles are limited, and that once you have written a script, you're you can still provide input, but you lose control at that point. You don't. You no longer have control over the final product. And I think that's a real important thing. Yeah, but still got my way. So, <laughs> uh, yes. Action. Are you widget? Because uh -huh. that's not the line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not everyone knew each other from the very beginning. So as you get used to each other's style, or you know, how they set things up and, you know, what kind of prep time they like to put into it. You get used to it. Take one. I mean, just that first day of shooting, um, everybody got there. And it may have taken a while to set up, but just the level of um, enthusiasm from everybody wanting to get things right and getting the right shot and the right framing and, and the right look, you know, it was just kind of amazing. And then it just progressed, I felt, as the, the filming process went on. Man, it broke. I, think, yeah. I mean, if anybody was going to drop their sand timer, it would be Widget. So it was fun. Yeah, it, like, it definitely would make sense for her character to like, yeah. lose oh, yeah. the sand timer. And, and we could play it off as like, we meant to do it. Which would be <laughs> what I've been proud of is the look. We've, we've managed to attain a very professional look for each shot in this film. You know, we, don't, we don't have that much handheld stuff. Everything is a dolly or a truck or something. There's some kind of movement. And... Um, that in conjunction with the lighting has given the overall look. I mean, it's, it's a real movie. I said a couple times to the class that I'm envious because um, I'm very much an outsider in this project. I mean, this is, this is the student's project. They've really been a hands-off sort of philo philosophy for this whole shoot, and I kind of appreciate that. Um, at the same time, you know, it's, it, it has its pros and cons but uh, you know Jeff Ray he was around he offered some guidance in the beginning and kind of cut us loose and, and let us work to our own devices. The students got did a great job auditioning got qualified actors. No you don't understand. Uh, let me go get my ditty bag. It's... No you don't understand. Uh, let me go get my ditty bag. <sighs> There's been uh, real attention paid to the details the small things that have to have to be done to make a film really work. Again. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't even know who the difference between who a director and DP was. There's just so many people, you know, trying to make each shot great that um, it was hard really to tell anyone was specifically more in charge. I knew all we needed was an opportunity. When I start having people ask me questions, ah, go ahead, look at the film. That, that was a mad rush. It was, but you know what? We got Tom Jewett on film, and uh, I think it was worth it. He's a, he's a, he's a gigantic talent. One more, give a little head shake when, uh, for after which it was at you. Got one, take two. Action. Looks like we found the rascals who broke in here. There's about ten of them. <laughs> Full cavity search on everyone, starting with Raph. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Kelly's probably my favorite producer out of the three, just because he's, he's a really cool guy. He's easy to talk to, he always knows what's going on with the production, um, and he's just a charismatic person.